What's happening, everybody? You're working with Bobby. Happy Sunday to you. Today, I'm going to make it kind of quick. I mean, it, the video may not be short, but I'm going to make the intro and all that kind of quick. Um, today, we're doing something else for Bell. We're doing something else for Blue Bell. I've been trying to make a point and make more of an effort to do things for myself. Because all of yesterday, I was doing work for somebody else. All throughout the week, I do work for other people. I work on cars for a living. I do a little bit of everything. Um, you know, when it come down to it, but today, today I'm going to take the time to do something for myself and for Bluebell, and I'm going to show y'all what I got going on. All right, this gal here finna get something else done to her. Now, as y'all can already see, this is what I'm working with on the inside, you know. I always told y'all that, you know, it's a work in progress. I was told that all these trucks do this number here, but that's something I'm going to have to do when I got another vehicle to drive because I ain't got time to be taking no dash out. Not right now. But this is what I've been riding on all these years. This seat right here. All right. What I'm about to do is, thanks to um, my best friend and Uncle John, I got these bucket seats that you can see. It, I got them covered up because um, I wanted to make sure that the birds ain't come up under here and poop all on my all on my seats after I took the time to, to clean them up real good. So <clears throat> I'm gonna get these here and cover so y'all can get a, a better look at it. Y'all excuse me with this camera. Um my son got my, my tripod because he started his YouTube page and I wanted to support him by giving him something he can um you know record with and and um he, he actually you know trying to be a YouTuber for a living. So I was like, I'll give him the tripod, which was given to me by one of my supporters, you know, so I was just paying it forward. Even though I would, you know, I'm his dad, I'd have got him a, a camera stand anyway, but you know how it goes. You know, sometimes you be blessed to be a blessing to others. So y'all excuse, I don't even know what the camera looking at. I just got it on. But y'all excuse the, 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 you know, what's going on because I'm trying to get this thing un, unwrapped. I could have had just paused it, but I wanted I wanted y'all to see this in real time as I uncover them again. So this is what we got going on. Probably use this for a thumbnail or whatever. But I'm gonna put these seats inside the truck. So just bear with me. I'm gonna put y'all on pause now, so I can go ahead and get started on um, getting the bench seat out. So just hold tight. All right, for the ones that have never removed a bench seat from a truck like this, there are, I think that's a 15 millimeter. You got one here, you got one here, and I'm on the driver's side, and then you got these two. Let me get back up a little bit. When you got these two right here that you got to take off, you must remove, well, I normally do it anyway. You take this bracket here loose, and what it does is it gives your seat um, the option to flex a little bit. And if you got the same deal on the other side. Let me let me just walk around. I ain't trying to spread y'all way over there. Let me walk around. You got the same thing on the other side that you got to take a loose. Which is right here. Boom. Boom. And then you got them same two bolts here. And then the, the seat comes up. Now you can't just snatch it up out of here because you got to feed the the latch. If you got a center center um a uh, uh, belt and buckle, and the two latches, the driver side and center from that side, they got to squeeze through these holes. I know it look impossible, but you got to do one and then do the other. So once you do that, then the seats come the seat comes on out. Um, what I'm probably going to do with this, if I can get them other than to go in there and work, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as like a, just a lounge chair, you know, for up under the shop somewhere. Cause anytime I have customers or whatever, if I want to sit down, I got to get a chair off my mama porch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep that just for that. It'll be under the shop. So I ain't got to worry about it getting caught in the rain or whatever, but I'll make some legs or some feet or something for that to sit on when the time comes. But I'm going to get this seat out and then I'm going to turn y'all back on. All right, y'all, got the seat out. I surprised myself. How about, how about I went on ahead and, and fooled that thing out with the two bolts that I was telling y'all on each end that, uh, that, that you should remove. So if you got something to get it out with, shoot, it'll come right on out. 
Well, I guess you learn something new every day, even if you done been doing it for a long time. Also, to get this and this out of this hole, take the cover off, and then loosen, you got this, this little piece here slides. It's like a lock for the seat belt, uh, the, the belt itself. And you take it out and then you slide the rest of the belt through there. This is not going to go through there, so don't try it. Try to save y'all some trouble if somebody else doing this. But um, this is what we're looking at. We're going to go from this bench seat to these two bucket seats. So what I got to do is I got to put um, put them in and I got to fit them and see where they're going to sit at. Then I'll drill the holes and then I'll start bolting them down. So y'all just bear with me. All right, this is what it looked like in here so far. This all the crap that been up under my seat for all these years that where the vacuum couldn't get. I ain't got my vacuum down here, so. Oh, this the thing my son done break my dog on. Thing off my back glass. I'll fix it later. But anyway, um, this is my little uh, car audio setup. I'm going to have to move that because I know that seat going to sit somewhere in that area. I'm good on this side because there was nothing under my driver's seat except for my, for my um, firearm. So I'm going to take this speaker. And I'm probably going to slide it over behind the driver's seat so it don't be in the wide open. And move this other stuff over in the middle. And then I'll just have like my whatever I had behind the seat before I had that in this area. Because there ain't nothing in here. I put my uh, jack and tool and all that in the um in the toolbox in the back of the truck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this amp over. Because I'm pretty sure that I'm going to have to move it from that spot. And hopefully I'll be able to use at least these two holes on either side the other one over here i know it's kind of dark because it's it's getting dark down here and i'm trying to go ahead and get this done before i mean i got light i just want to go ahead and try to get it done before it get all the way dark um and uh i'm gonna go ahead and get some of this stuff moved around and then i'm gonna go ahead and um and uh get the seats fitted so this is what it looked like with no seats in it but hopefully when i cut the camera back on i'll at least be fitting them so y'all just bear with me all right, y'all. I got one of them kind of sort of in. Let me back out some. I got one of, one of them kind of sort of in. The driver's seat had the, the brackets. Let me get my light where y'all can see. Had the brackets that um pretty much was like the seat that I took out. So I got that bolt in. And I got that one in also. Um, that might be too much light. There it is. Now y'all can see it. I got that one in also just to hold it in place. And what I'm going to do... I'm gonna take this this light and put it somewhere so I can mark the hole that's here and it's one that's back here. I'm gonna mark that with the marker and then I'm gonna drill a hole and that's where I'm gonna bolt this seat down at. The other side, I, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. But let me go ahead and get this one straight. But they actually look pretty good in here. Actually the same interior color, you know, beside the faded out carpet and the horrible door panels. But hey, it's mine. I'm going to try to do what I can to it to spruce it up so it is what it is. So I'll cut y'all back on when I take the seat out and start drilling the holes. All right, y'all. We ran into a problem. I'm, let me get the light. I'm going to show you on the inside first. All right, I finished getting the driver's side bolted in. It looked pretty good. I still got to modify this or whatever. I got some more speaker wire I can run so I can expand it, extend it if need be. But this amplifier is too tall to set up under the seat when I set it in the truck. So what I'm gonna have to do, I gotta either rewire all this, which I don't feel like doing tonight. So you already know I ain't doing that. Or I can cut off the brace that's up under the bottom of the seat, which is here. So it's got one in the front too, that's going from side to side. And I know what that's for. That's to stabilize the actual seat bracket or the frame. The way it don't kind of move from side to side. Kind of like what a uh, sweet bar eliminator would do. But what I'm going to do is now I'm not going to cut both. I'm just cut this one off. The one at the back. That way I have clearance up under the seat for the amp. And then I can go ahead and set it in place. Mark the holes and then drill. And then get this seat bolted down. Then I can get ready to um, shut down and get ready to go home. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. Just cut this bar here off. As you can see, I already got my cutoff wheel out. Waiting on it. Got it plugged up and everything. And I'm going to go ahead and get that done. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get that done and then I'm gonna mark it, bolt it down, and then I'm gonna show y'all the end result. So just bear with me. All right, y'all, this the this is not the final result, but it's pretty close to it. Um, I got them both bolted in. It looked pretty good in here. Um, the only thing is, it's a covering. I ain't got no light, but hopefully y'all can see it. It's right here. Um, up under the bottom where I can't put no bolt, can't get the lock nut in on the bottom through that hole. So I just took that out for now, but the seat is really sturdy. Um, I slid my speaker over behind that seat, and now I got this open area. So... Next is going to most likely be the next investment. I'm gonna say is probably going to be a um a center console so I can put some more things in and more storage and all that. But I like it. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. Um, I think it improved the look of the inside of the truck, it's way better than the other one that I had, way better condition. So, um, I wonder if I can put some heat on this to get that. That's where a, a ratchet strap had held the seat down, it might come back out, it might not. I don't know, but. So far, I like what I see. So if you guys want to try to do this to your truck and you don't, it didn't quite come with uh, the bucket seats, you know, you can try what I did. And, and oh, yeah, by the way, make sure that if you go and you get some bolts to hold the seat down, don't just get no cheap bolts. Get you some good grade 8 fasteners. Um, I know there are stronger fasteners out there, but I think grade 8 is, is strong enough for what I was trying to do with these seats. Because you want to be safe in the event that you get in a crash. You want to make sure that the seat don't let go and then you and the seat flying all over the place. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, and let y'all go. Hope that, Hopefully that you learned something. Let me get. So as always, as I always tell you guys, um, the be blessed, be encouraged, and keep wrenching. I'll catch y'all on the next video.